So again, to love like this type of question. So you're gonna multiply a quadratic and the linear equation, and guess what? You're gonna have a cubic equation. So this one it goes like this: x squared plus one multiplied. You can graph the result of the production when you multiply this plus times uh, times this. So, so you can just put these this in a calculator, and the calculator will do it for you. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to insert this in the calculator and see what we're going to, or I would just, let's just distribute, let's just distribute, fine. So x squared times minus 2, so it's going to have minus 3x cubed. And x squared times 2 uh, cubed, sorry. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Then minus 3x. And then plus two. So if you go to your calculator and insert this value in the calculator, there you go. You're gonna have x to the power of three or minus minus three x to the power of three plus two x to the power of two minus three x plus two. That's the graph of your cubic function. It's gonna look like this okay so i can clear out this so that you can see the lot this is the graph and the intersection here or the y-intercept is two and the x-intercept is this value okay and it goes to infinity in both directions that's the graph so again so it's a very simple type of question you just plug these uh equation functions in your calculator and click graph all right let's see the mark scheme take a look at the mark scheme of this uh there you go Okay, it's yes, it is like this, but but what you can see here, students, look, look, here they change, uh, the, the scales are changed, so I can make this one look exactly the same as this one, but the, the scale is changed. Let me change it so that you can see. So if you do this and make the X so big, like for example, make it from 100 to 100, something like this. Uh, sorry, I mean the other way around, this one. Let's say make it 100 to 100 like this, and make this small, let's say make it up till, let's say 4, and this one make it up till four, this. There you go. So if you want to change it, and it's better to have this way so that you see that the quadratic function I mean, the cubic function has this form, and here is the y-intercept, uh, I mean, x-intercept, and this is the y-intercept. There you go. That's the graph. This is how it is graphed on uh, the uh, uh, on your mask scheme like this, okay? So that you see the cubic function has this form. They either go like this, like this, or like this, or they just get them just touch and go like this. Now, if it was positive, it's going to go the other around. It's going to go like this. So make sure, students, you, you know that the cubic function, if it was positive, it goes like this, down, up. If it was negative, it goes like this. So please memorize these, uh, uh, how the cubic function uh, behaves. Okay, let me know to lot your understanding of this particular question. Remember, these questions are very important, so you need to let me know if you need more explanation or any other comment you have on mind. Okay, thank you for watching.